Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Rule 34 by Charles Strauss. Okay now, um, from what I heard, um, there are these uh, rules of the internet that, um, like, I don't know, a bunch of people made up. I think it was that organization, Anonymous, I guess, and um, <coughs> And there are several different rules, um, one of which is Rule 34, um, <clears throat> which is, if it exists, there is porn of it. And then there's a Rule 35, which is like, if there isn't, there will be. And um, really, I'm not going to bother, try, you know, proving it or disproving it, especially since there's this guy called... Um, the cinema snob and he reviews like porno spoofs of different <clears throat> you know different stuff and and there I think there's like um, <clears throat> a Super Mario Brothers porno parody a um, Ninja Turtles and um, and you know and my my first reaction is um why i mean i mean really like um you see i think the it's, um i'm not I'm questioning like the rule itself but like why would you make a porno parody based on ninja turtles or mario brothers those are like kids that's a ki cartoon show and a video game made for kids i mean yeah i realize that that uh, you know there are adults that play video games and watch cartoons too. I'm one of them, but I don't really see what the big appeal is. is you know, <clears throat> to you know, making a a porno spoof. Bit, but you know, what, anyway. But um, on by the way, the those spoofs that he like his videos are on YouTube and Blip, and they're don't worry, they're like censored and stuff, so it's all cool. And but um, anyway, um, so I'm not really gonna question it, and I'm not really judging, but I just don't get it. That that's as much that's as, all, as far as I'll say about that. But anyway, let, let's get to the uh, book, R Rule Thirty Four. Internet Meme Class 1 Veruliant Meet Edinburgh Detective Inspector Liz Kavanaugh, head of the Innovative Crime Investigative Unit, otherwise known as the Rule 34 Squad. It's responsible for monitoring the Internet, following trends to determine whether people are engaging in harmless fantasies or illegal activities. Usually their job uncovers those operating on the extreme fringes of the run-of-the-mill porn that still, in 2023, abounds cyberspace. But occasionally more disturbing patterns arise. Three ex-cons have been murdered in Germany, Italy, and Scotland. The only things they had in common were arrests for spamming and the taste for unorthodox erotica. As the other officers on the scene, I mean, as the first officer on the scene of the most recent death, Liz finds herself rapidly sucked into an international investigation that isn't asking so much who the killer is as what the killer is. Huh? And if she can't figure out if she can't figure that out, a lot more people are going to die as the homicide as the homicides go viral. So there you have it, a cyberpunk that revolves around Rule 34. Okay, that certainly does sound like a pretty interesting <laughs> idea. Um, and as any as you'd expect, there's plenty of you know, what the fuckingness to happen in this, like, um, whether it be, you know, the villain being taught to skin frogs alive and saying, oh, they look like little men, don't they? Or, or one in, 
thing where they talk about um, saying to keep an eye on hentai artists because there's a dis there's this disturbing rise of Hitler yaoi and Holocaust tentacle porn, which really uh, is really just made me just put the book down and go, what the heck? Although the part with the Hitler yaoi does help answer one question that was brought up by uh, Linkara when he talked about Superman at Earth's End. Why? Why make clones of Hitler? Apparently that's why. <clears throat> anyway, um, overall if this overall, overall I'd give this three out of five. Really if it sounds like um, something that would interest you then you'd then check it out. If this thing sounds a little too, um, you know, weird for your taste, then, or a little more too what the heck, then, yeah, I'd probably steer clear of it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> until next time, see you later and have a nice day.